Hi everyone. So I wanted to do another video where um, I talked about the full moon that we're having this week. And I know I mentioned Tuesday, and actually it's Wednesday, but you know, starting Tuesday we already feel the effects of the full moon. Even oh my God, even during this week weekend, should I say? And today we feel the the moon. It's kind of like women when we go through um, our cycle. We definitely feel something way before it even happens. It's interesting how the moon is like that. Um, so anyway, um, this Tuesday and Wednesday is um, the full moon. And at the same time, we're going to have a lunar eclipse, which I also believe is going to happen um, Wednesday. Um, so this is very intriguing and, and just, it's going to hold a lot of energy. And I know I spoke about energy in my other video. So I would suggest that if you have any kind of ritual or any spiritual thing that you like to do that you enjoy to do um definitely be open to doing it this week and um tuesday and wednesday are perfect night to do that um and again it could be any ritual where either you're letting go or you're creating or you're talking to god um you could be very open about it um I guess that's where freedom comes in and creativity and just the desire to do something um, on the full moon. Um, if there is something that's really bothering you, then maybe that's what you need to focus on. And of course, I'm here, so you could always respond to this video or go to my Facebook um, page and ask me, you know, Christina, um, I would like to find out a ritual or something that I could do to maybe let go of the situation. You know, what do you advise and and I would advise you you know what would be best for that situation um and normally everyone you know could write a list um preferably of the things that you do want to let go um and just write them down and if it's more than five things that's fine um and just you know take a moment after you write that list to envision yourself giving them away um you could envision the angels you can envision god you could envision maybe a loved one that has gone to heaven and who you know is your guardian angel. You could envision them helping you, saying, I'm going to take this from you. And then after that, you know, breathing and then finding a way to dispose of that um, note. And I know I did say burn, and I know someone had an issue with that. So I don't know if you could see out here there's um, pots with flowers or plants. So you could get a pot like that, um, preferably a one that's not plastic, um, one that is made out of pottery. And, of course, it's empty, right? So when you're burning the letter, you could burn it in, in, the, um, in the pot, in the potted plant pot. Um, or you could just, if you have a shredder machine, you could shred it into the shredder machine and just let it go that way. Um, you know, again, it's really up to you how you want to do it. I prefer to burn it because, I don't know, there's something about when I burn it, looking at it burn, it's like, yes, good riddance, goodbye. Uh, but definitely find a safe way of doing it. And, you know, if you have a huge, large enough space, then you can go out there and do that. And then, of course, you could dispose of it in the bathroom, flushing it down. Um... But I really just want to say that I'm so happy that I'm here to help you and and to let you know that it is okay to be spiritual and it is okay to celebrate the full moon. Um, and I also wanted to tell you that this week is um, the winter summer celeste and that's June 21st and it's also World Prayer Day. And um, there's this Native American chief that is from, uh, I believe, South Dakota, and he gathers with thousands of people from all kinds of walks of faith, life, and they pray together. And he created this because he really wanted to unify the world. So on June 21st, um, again, that's another day to participate, pray, um, light a candle, do what you want, to, I guess, connect to God and, and whatever you want to give. I think that a lot of us want to give, but we don't know how. 
and you know you could give by just praying for the world or for others. Maybe there's a, a situation that you notice throughout throughout the day. Maybe your neighbors are going through a hard time. Maybe it's your own family. So you pray for them, and you offer that to them. Um, and again, thank you for joining me. And I just want to let you know that you know this week is very magical and I hope that you can participate in any way that you want to participate and realize that you know this month is hectic because of that. I know in the beginning of the month it was a new moon plus a, a solar eclipse. So it's magnifying. Whatever we're going through is going to magnify and I know some of you might say no but it's good because that means we're going to eventually get out of it and something beautiful will occur. So that's why I said keep your thoughts very positive this this week. You know, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, um, know that you can achieve it. So have a wonderful um, full moon, lunar eclipse, and winter summer celeste. Bye-bye.